There's a hidden set of iconic moddable weapons in Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 and today I'm going to show you where to get them. Let's get to it. Welcome you over 173,000 fantastic individuals who have hit the subscribe button and the other 40% of you who have not yet. So with the release of 2.0 they made it so that we can no longer mod our iconic weapons. They also made it so that you can no longer upgrade your weapons. However, there is a special set of weapons in the game that are iconic and you can upgrade them. Do note that these weapons are hidden in and around Dogtown, so you will need the DLC in order to get them. Starting off with the Kyubi, I guess that's how you pronounce that, I have no idea. Feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm pronouncing it wrong. This one is by far the easiest one to find and get to. We're gonna head over to the Golden Pacific Fast Travel Waypoint. From there, you are gonna turn around until you see the Roar sign, you are going to head directly across the street. There is a pool of water there and you're just going to jump into that pool and swim all the way down to the bottom and you should see like a green cloud there. You want to head towards that green cloud because that is the location of where it's at down here. You will see a body tied to a chunk of concrete or stone and laying directly underneath of it is the power assault rifle. Next up we have the cut o -matic. And for this one, we're going to head over to the Terra Cognita fast travel location. From there, you will see two sets of stairs that lead up to a gate. And in the distance, you can see a shuttle. You're going to head up that flight of stairs and head towards the shuttle. When you get to the shuttle, you can see that there's a bunch of the orange scaffolding everywhere. And you're just going to make a right and then an immediate left. And you'll just follow around this little ravine area until until you get to a dead end and once you reach that dead end you will see a head and lodged inside that head is the cut o -matic. This next one is a bit more involved to get a hold of and it actually involves making a specific choice during a quest line. You can actually go to the location where it's at before you even do the quest but it won't be there and if you don't make the proper choice during the quest it also won't be there. This is the only one found so far that is tied to a quest. And that is the Kappa Smart Pistol. The quest for this is called Spy in the Jungle. It can be found right here at this location. I'm not gonna cover this entire quest, but I will tell you what you need to do. You are going to run into a scientist. You're gonna have the option to kill said scientist. Don't do it. Instead, she's gonna offer you her stash if you let her live. Choose the stash. Once you have done that, we're gonna head back over to the Golden Pacific Waypoint. And from there, we're going to head to the location that you see I have marked on the map. You're looking for this little rounded kiosk style looking building and you can see leaning against it, there is a bunch of metal. One of those sheets of metal has a giant yellow square painted on it and that's what we're looking for. That is the piece of metal that you move out of the way to expose the entrance to get inside here to get the stash. The downside is, is you need need freaking 10 in body to get a smart pistol. Yeah, that's some rocket science game design right there. I have mechanical arms, but I can't move the tiniest little thin piece of metal out of the way. I actually went back to an earlier save to test this to see if it was there without doing the quest line. And in that save, I only needed nine bodies. So this may be dependent on your level. And if you do this soon enough, you may be able to do it with only like four or five into body. I don't know. I didn't go back that far but you're going to need some points in the body. You move it out of the way and you head inside and there is the stash and there is the smart pistol inside the little bag there on the bed. Oh. Moving right along to the guillotine powered machine gun. To find this one, we're going to head over to the Crest Street fast travel spot. You want to face the fast travel point and then look to your left. You will see there underneath the bridge in the distance, there is a yellow set of stairs. Head to those stairs and make your way to the the top, there is a door that you can open if you have 20 
into body, but fear not, there is a way to get this without putting points into body. Make your way around to the side of the building. You can see that there is a window there. You can shoot out the glass. Now, I do want to warn you, when you go to shoot this out, be careful. People in Dogtown are violent, and there is a very high chance of a civilian NPC shooting at you. If this happens, you have to shoot them, and then the cops come, and it's a whole thing. So just keep that in mind that that can happen here. Once you shoot out the glass, you want to stand on the barrels that are there, and then you want to walk forward into the wall and look at the gun, and you should get the prompt to pick it up. You can also kind of jump at it a little bit too and just kind of finagle your way around, but it is possible to basically reach through the glass and pull it off the table there. Now, of course, if you have 20 into body, you can also just kick the door open and walk in and pick it up. Now, let's talk about one that's an absolute pain in the butt to get to, and I don't know if it's bugged or what the situation is. I've seen varying reports on how this is supposed to go down. I'm going to give you the full rundown and show you how to force get this thing if you have to. So in order to get the Umbra powered assault rifle, you're going to head back to the Terra Cognita fast travel spot. If you're staring at the fast travel spot, you want to look left and you're going to walk underneath this like bridge area and you're going to head all the way to the back area here. Now, once you get back here, you will see a large chunk of wires that have blue lights at specific points in them and it's very easy to see and denote where this area is that you want to get to. You see this large piece of corrugated metal across this what looks like to be an entrance here? That should open up if you come here at nighttime. Now I've seen different reports and we'll talk about a different area that you have to go to at nighttime. Most people say between 4 and 5 a.m. However, the other area that people were saying you need to go to at 4 or 5 a.m. for another one that we're going to cover. I was actually able to go there at midnight and get the weapon. This one, on the other hand, I've tried midnight. I've tried between 4 and 5. I've tried every combination of anything and everything I can do to get that piece of corrugated metal to disappear to open up that area. So I advise for you to try those things first. Come here at night, then try between 4 and 5. Make sure you're not looking at it while you're doing it, like go back over to the fast travel point, skip time, then come back over here and see if it's missing or not. And you should just be able to jump up there and walk right into this area. If it is missing, there is a large gap there. If for some reason it's bugged out for you, as it is for me, getting in here takes a little bit of finagling, but it is doable. So what you're going to do is jump up to this large gap here on the left side, and then you are going to look exactly exactly where you see me looking. Now what you want to do is summon one of your vehicles, do a bike. Don't do this with a car. It won't work with a car. You can summon a car behind you, but it's not going to do you any good. You want to summon a bike and you're also going to need to have a cyber deck equipped so that you can control said bike. Now pretty much any bike should be able to do this provided it's the right shape. Some bikes, the handlebars won't allow you to do this. I've had the best results with with Scorpion's Apollo. So once you summon it in, it should summon directly behind you. Now what you want to do is you want to control it. And as soon as you choose the option to control it, you want to back down off the side because if you hit yourself, which you will hit yourself doing this, you knock yourself out of the ability to control it. So you need to be controlling it from the ground below. Then what you want to do is line it up with that piece of sheet metal there and run it towards the area that we were looking at. If you do this properly, it should slip right in there and it won't fall, but it will do some slightly janky stuff. And then you can jump on top of it and get on it. Once you are on it, you can just back it up into the area and slip through that crack. Then you can head back around to the side, make sure to jump over the electrified areas and you can grab the weapon. Now, in order to get back out, you just get back on the bike and ride it right through that crack. This may seem overly complicated at first, but once you do it, you will realize how incredibly easy it is to do. Hopefully this is just a bug and they get it fixed soon so you don't have to go through all this crap in the future. Speaking of weapons that you have to get at a specific 
specific time of the day. The next one we're going to go after is the Pazar, 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 whatever it's called. Correct me in the comments. It's a powered shotgun. We're going to head back over to Crest Street. From there, if you take a look directly at the fast travel spot and turn left, you will see a giant orange crane. Run to that crane. On the back side of it, there is a ladder and you can get to the top of it. Once you are at the top of it, you are going to run to the tip and then you are going to jump off the tip over into that building. Once you get inside the building, you are going to head left and head through this trash here and head all the way back and you will see that there is a door. This door will only open at nighttime. You don't have to run too far in order to get this to work. All you have to do is run past the trash, past that red container, over here to this dumpster, and then skip time to any time at nighttime. This is the one I was talking about where people were saying it needed to be between four and five in the morning, but it will also work at midnight. Once you have done this, you just head back over to the door. The door will be open. There will be a bunch of people in there partying, and you can run all the way to the back and pick up the Pazar, Pazhar, whatever it's called, powered shotgun. Next up, we're going after a baseball bat. In order to get the baseball bat, we're going to head back to Golden Pacific Fast Travel Spot. From this spot, you want to head to your left down the street to this location marked on your screen. Once you get here, there is a set of stairs. You're going to head up those stairs. Once you get to the top of them, you want to turn left, then make a right, then immediately make a left, go across the bridge, then another right, and all the way at the back of here, you will find the baseball bat. So that is all of them that I have been able to find the locations for so far and all of them that everybody appears to know about. If you know of any that were missed in this video, please let me know down there in the comments section so that I can cover them in a future video. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informational. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. And if you're looking for some more cyberpunk content, you can find a link to another one of my videos on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.